Hey, this is Mr. Davis, and today I'm going to show you how to use the subselect tool <coughs> to draw a kite. So I'm going to prepare this as if we were going to use it in our lab. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to create a 320 by 450 canvas. I'm going to use Control Plus to zoom in. I'm going to start by simply drawing a square. So I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to get a square that fits in the middle of the screen. I'm going to choose red. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. Instead of grabbing this handle to turn it, come over here where it says angle and type in 45 degrees and hit enter. So that will give you a, a perfect 45 degree rotation. Okay, so that this is perfectly aligned with the vertical line. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out this bottom point. So what I need to do is click on it, come over here and go modify, path, convert to path. Control shift P will help it happen automatically. Now we're going to switch our tool to the sub select tool. And we're going to just grab this bottom anchor. I'm going to hold shift, and now we have the shape of a kite. So we want to go back now to our selection tool, or the pointer as it's called. Let's put it right here. Let's take the line tool, because usually kites have two uh, sticks, one horizontal, one vertical, that give them support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift again. There we go. I'm going to take this border, so that's what it is. I'm going to move it to bring it up to three pixels. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the line tool, get everything lined up, hold shift. There we go. So that kind of gives it the right look. So let's take all of this because it looks good. Let's group it. Right up here is the group icon. Okay, so let's give it a little bit of a tail. Now, when the tail's blowing the wind in the string, it really doesn't look that straight, okay? So I'm not going to worry about the string that holds the kite. What I'm going to do is just start here, and I'm going to give this tail a little bit of a curve, make it look more natural. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit V on the keyboard to make sure that I don't have a a um, extra anchor point put in that messes it up. So I'm going to bring this up to three pixels. I want to make sure I have no fill. I'm going to click here, right? Um, because if you would have left it in there, you would have a fill that you don't see. Okay. So let's get rid of that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send this to the back and then I'm going to move it up a little. So now it looks like it's uh, really attached. All right, how do we make, usually there's a lot of people put like bows on their uh, tail. So what I'm going to do, and the tail is something that gives the kite balance, is I'm going to take a triangle. Okay. And let's make that triangle red just for now. You can make these whatever color you want. Let's put a border on it. And then so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take one here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go copy paste. Okay. And what happens here is I can reflect. So what I want to do is go to transform, flip horizontal. Just a little bit. Oh, what we can do now, what can make your job a little easier is let's select this one, select the other one, and let's group it. So now I can just go copy paste on the whole set like that. Okay, so let's go back up to my kite here. Um, let's put a border on it. 
and now you can go and save it. All right. And we're going to go back. We're going to export it. Now, I'll use PNG. And I'm going to put this in my uh, distance learning files. Safe, and there we have it. Quick lesson on how to draw a kite by Mr. Davis. And uh, good luck. Uh, I hope you try it and you have some success.